Welcome to this EKE100 configuration video 2 about how to do basic settings by using the EKE100 display interface. The EKE100 1V and 2V versions with built-in display can be configured by using the display interface. The display interface configuration is split into five small videos, which includes video 1, showing basic navigation between the different setting modes, including using the keypads and understanding the display readings. Video 2, showing how to do basic settings, including configuring the EK100 as a superheat controller or a valve driver. Video 3, showing how to configure the EK100 as a valve driver for one stepper motor valve. Video 4, showing how to configure the EK100 as a superheat controller for one stepper motor valve, including configuration of one pressure transmitter and one temperature sensor. And video 5, showing how to configure the EKE100, allowing you to manually operate a valve. In these videos, we'll give you important configuration tips, ensuring your safe and reliable system operation. So go ahead and check out the EKE100 display interface configuration video, which will meet your needs. In this EKE100 display interface configuration video 2, we will show you how to unlock the EKE100 so that you can configure it, how to set the EKE100 as a superheat controller, and how to set the EKE100 as a valve driver. We will also show you how to set the EKE100 valve driver input signal, how to do the EKE100 valve configuration, and finally, how to lock the EKE100 again after completing the setting. It is very important to ensure that the EKE100 is correctly mechanically and electrically installed before starting up the EKE100 and starting to configure it. The EKE100 should always be installed and connected to other equipment according to the guidelines given in relevant literature, such as the installation and user guides for the EKE100 and other equipment. Please note that there are free EKE100 online installation videos available to ensure safe and reliable installation and system operation. All EKE100 display interface configuration examples are done with the EKE100 located in a demo rack, but the configuration procedure is the same for the EKE100 located in the refrigeration system. We demonstrate the EKE100 display interface configuration by using the EKE100 2V version as seen here. Most configuration procedures and the navigation structure are identical for the EKE100 1V and 2V versions. However, whenever there are any deviations, then we will highlight this during the configuration videos. So let us start using the display interface. The basic uses of the EKE100 display interface is explained in the EKE100 online display interface configuration video 1. As mentioned in this video, then the EK100 always starts in home mode, as shown here with HO. Before you can configure the EK100, you firstly need to unlock it. This is done as follows. From the home mode, press the arrow down key to get to the basic settings, specified as SET. Press the enter key to access the main switch, specified as CR12. Press the enter key again which will set the main switch as off, as seen here. The AK100 is now unlocked. Press the exit key to move one step back in the navigation structure so that you can start the AK100 configuration. Please refer to the AK100 online display interface configuration video 1 and the AK100 user guide for details about how to read the display, understand the navigation structure, and understand the parameter abbreviations. We can now start to configure the EK100. Unlocking the EK100 is shown in the following sequence. The first step in the EK100 configuration is to set it either as a superheat controller or set it as a valve driver. Let us first set the EK100 as a superheat controller. We will in this exam do the setting for valve A, and it is done as follows. From the main switch, CR12 mode, press the arrow down key to access the operation mode A, specified as ACTR. 
Press the Enter key to access the available operating modes. As seen from the operating mode overview shown here, then the value should be set as zero for super hit control, here specified as S8 control. Press the arrow up or arrow down key to get the needed value. Press the Enter key to confirm the value zero and return to the ACTR mode. Press the arrow up key to return to the main switch CR12 mode. From the CR12 mode, you can access and set relevant superheat controller parameters by pressing the arrow down key. This we show in another EKE 100 online display interface configuration video. Please also refer to the EKE 100 user guide for details about how to read the display, understand the navigation structure, and understand the parameter abbreviations. Setting the EKE 100 as a superheat controller is shown in the following sequence. We will in this example configure the EKE 100 as a VAL driver for valve A, and it is done as follows. From the main switch CR12 mode, press the arrow down key to access the operation mode A, specified as ACTR. Press the Enter key to access the available operating modes. As seen from the operation mode overview shown here, then the value should be set as 1 for valve driver, here specified as valve driver. Press the arrow up or arrow down keys to get the needed value. Press the Enter key to confirm the value 1 and return to the ACTR mode. Press the arrow up key to return to the main switch CR12 mode. From the CR12 mode, you can access and set relevant valve driver parameters by pressing the arrow down key. This we show in other EK100 online display interface configuration videos. However, we will also show a setting example in this video. Please also refer to the EK100 user guide for details about how to read the display, understand the navigation structure, and understand the parameter abbreviations. Setting the EK100 as a valve driver is shown in the following sequence. We will in this example configure the EK100 valve driver input signal for valve A, and it is done as follows. From the main switch CR12 mode, press the arrow down key several times to access the driver A input signal, specified as A in. Press the enter key to access the available input signals. You can see the different values and corresponding input signals in the overview shown here. Press the arrow up or arrow down keys to get the needed value. Press the Enter key to confirm the value and return to the A in mode. Once the EK100 valve driver A input signal is set, then press the arrow up key to return to the main switch CR12 mode. From the CR12 mode, you can access and set other relevant valve drive parameters by pressing the arrow down key. This we show in other EK100 online display interface configuration videos. Please also refer to the EK100 user guide for details about how to read the display understand the navigation structure, and understand the parameter abbreviations. Setting the EK100 valve driver input signal is shown in the following sequence. We will in this example do an EK100 valve A configuration by selecting a suitable stepper motor valve as valve A, and it is done as follows. From the main switch CR12 mode, press the arrow down key several times to access the valve A configuration, specified as AJ00. Press the Enter key to access the available valves. You can see the different suitable valves and related values in the overview shown here. Press the arrow up or arrow down keys to find and select a suitable valve. Press the Enter key to confirm a suitable value and return to the AJ00 mode. Once the EK100 valve A is selected, then press the arrow up key to return to the main switch CR12 mode. From the CR12 mode, you can access and set other relevant valve parameters by pressing the arrow down key. This we show in other EK100 online display interface configuration videos. Please also refer to the EK100 user guide for details about how to read the display, understand the navigation structure, and understand the parameter abbreviations. Selecting a suitable valve A as part of the EK100 valve configuration is shown in the following sequence.
After you have completed the configuration of the EK100, you need to log it again. This is done as follows. From the CR12 mode, press the Enter key to change the OFF setting seen here. Press the arrow UP key to change the setting from OFF to ON. Press the Enter key to confirm the ON setting and return to the CR12 mode. The EK100 is now locked and ready for operation. Please refer to the EK100 Online Display Interface Configuration Video 1 and the EK100 User Guide for details about how to read the display, understand the navigation structure, and understand the parameter abbreviations. Docking the EK100 is shown in the following sequence. You have now completed the Display Interface Configuration Video 2 for the EK100 Super Controllers and Valve Drivers. So now you know how to unlock the K100 so that you can configure it. You know how to set the K100 as a Super 8 controller. You know how to set the K100 as a valve driver. You know how to set the K100 valve driver input signal. You know how to do the K100 valve configuration. And finally, you know how to lock the K100 again after completing the setting. All this ensuring a correct and safe system operation. Please check out the other online videos about EKE100 display interface configuration. Have a look at the other online learnings about the Danfoss EKE100 superheat controllers and valve drivers. Thanks for watching.